thanks, everyone. Uh, day seven, marathon seven completed. The seven in seven completed. Kev, first of all, uh, how are you feeling? Uh, an incredible achievement, an incredible amount of money raised. Yeah, massively overwhelmed. Um, delighted to get it done. The support has been incredible. Um, for Stephen, Rob and Doddy, your messages this morning were brilliant. Um, so inspirational as always. Sally, I can't thank you enough. Um, the BBC uh, team, the BBC breakfast team in particular, uh, what you've done uh, behind the scenes has been nothing short of magnificent. <clears throat> On Tuesday when we set out, we had 40k. And to think where we've got to now with the support, the messages, um, we're all absolutely blown away and we can't thank you enough. So um, today we, we was absolutely fueled by a wave of emotion, a wave of support from the MND community and um, I can't thank people enough. Uh, you, you all know that we did this because Rob is so special to us and Rob were a great teammate and, and remains a great friend and um, to get to be able to have this sort of platform to raise an amount of money that was unthinkable right at the start and we all know we'll make a huge difference is incredible so um, to everybody on here thank you so much um, the team that I that we put together the six of us um, have had the best week of our lives and I, and I mean that from the bottom of my heart we've had a wonderful week the camaraderie the teamwork um, representing the MND Association representing the MND community and representing Rob Burr and his family. Um, and obviously, Doddy, Stephen, um, can't thank you enough. It's been a brilliant week for us. Kev, okay, you got through the million pound barrier in the first leg of uh, of this morning's, uh, morning's run. What was it like when you heard the news on that? Yeah, again, blown away. There's been some real special moments throughout the week. Um, you know, when I first saw Rob at the mural, was was the moment we crashed o crashed over the the half a million barrier. So, and then today we hit the million pound mark as I ran past my former high school, um, and both my kids were in there at, at that moment in time. So, really, really special. Um, blown away by the support. I, it it couldn't have gone any better. The week there's nobody got any injuries. Everybody's fit and well. Um, we followed all the COVID guidelines and. You know, I think everybody on this call and, and a lot of people connected with this challenge, the 7-in-7, seven seven, um, have done a lot of good things this week. Yeah, thank you. Great to have on the call today. Just to introduce, um, we've got Stephen Darby and Donnie Weir, who are absolute legends, who've been great friends and mentors to Rob uh, from, the, from the moment um, he, he got his diagnosis. Sally Nugent from the BBC, can't thank the BBC enough for all the support they've had for the 7 and 7 Challenge. They've really made a difference on this. And we're delighted to be joined by Ian, Chris and Jen from the MND Association, um, who so much inspiration. I know Kev has drawn uh, into his runs. Uh, we'll, we'll have a quick chat to Sally. Uh, you tried your best this morning, Sally, to make him cry before he set off. I didn't. Honestly, Kev thinks that I'm trying to make him cry all the time. I'm really not. I promise you, Kev. I promise. He just does it. He can't stop, can he? <laughs> no, I, I think what we wanted to do today, I, I sent Kev a message last night saying, we're going to send you off with wings on your feet. And I wanted today, that little film that we showed Kev, I wanted him to understand how important it was, what he was doing. I know he understands it, but I wanted him to feel the emotion and the love that we see everywhere for everybody involved in this. And I felt it was really important that at this point, the last day, he really felt that. And it was like we could put our arms around him and run with him and give him that little push before he left. And so what I would like to say is thank you to all my lot at work who worked through, you know, days and nights and through the weekend and overnight to put together that special film because every word of it meant so much to us. Um, and I have to say, so I was on telly this morning, I came home, I've watched that film again about four or five times. <laughs> I can't stop watching it because I, 
I love it so much. I really do. And Sally, you've been involved in some some huge stories throughout your career, obviously at BBC. How, how highly do you rate the, what's happened with Kevin, the way the public have really embraced the 7 in 7 challenge? I have to say, of all the things I've ever done, and you know, obviously I've you know, been around quite a long time now, I um, this is the most special to me by a mile. I think the film that we made with Rob Lindsay that came out a couple of months ago, ran BBC Two. Um, a really small team of people made that because of COVID. Um, you know, we had to keep it really tight. We cameramen, myself and my amazing producer, Claire Ryan. Um, and, you know, we didn't let lots of people in because we were really wanted to keep Rob safe and protect the family and that film, that 30 minutes, you know, Kev's in it, um, uh, is so special to me. Uh, normally on documentaries that we put out, there's like a big long list of people who get involved and, you know, loads of people have their opinions, but it was a really, really small team. And uh, that film means the world to me. And what I want to say is I want to say thank you to Doddy and Rob and Stephen for letting us in uh, because it's a really scary thing to do. And, you know, Rob, particularly, you welcomed us into your home and made us feel like part of a family. Uh, and that's really, really kind. I'm sure, Sally, you know, certainly from every involvement I've had, you, yourself, particularly Claire as well, you've done a fantastic job and I know from speaking to, to Lindsay and, and Rob's family, that the way that you've you've supported the family and, and really cared, I think that's the word, cared about what they're going through and how best to show that to the world. I think that means a million dollars and, and it's it's been, that's why it's been so good. You know, you can see that in every every second that's on, on screen is someone cares about Rob's story and that's fantastic to see. Thank you. And uh, well, I think back to that first interview up at the Del Mahoy, uh, Stephen, you, know, you talked about becoming a, a teammate of, of Rob's and, and fighting against MD, and that certainly seems to be the case. It is. Uh, um, I think the one thing that's really noticeable is the MND community really comes together and supports each other. Um, I think what Kev's done this week has been absolutely amazing uh, it's been unbelievable and what he touched on before he couldn't do that without obviously the help of yourself the team around him without the help of Sally and the BBC and also without the help of the MNDA and also the supporters who have, who have donated and um, contributed to this amazing cause and I think that's really evident that um, for us to, to make strides in MND, it's going to take a real team effort and to turn something so devastating into something so positive, uh, which we've seen this week. All the, the support and the positivity we've seen is absolutely incredible. I don't know, we, you spoke about from when you, when you got your diagnosis, the need for more information out there for people to know about MND and to be able to talk about it. And that's certainly seems to be around this, that, that people now are, are, are having that conversation. Definitely, and the awareness that um, has been created, obviously, this week has been unbelievable. It's been massive. Um, the awareness that uh, Rob's documentary created and the awareness that's been created over the past year, with thanks to, say, sadly, the BBC and everyone, um, it's what's needed to try and get the message out there to say how cruel this disease is. Um, but it's one thing getting the message out there, but it's another thing having that support from people and the support that uh, we've all had uh, has been absolutely amazing and hopefully we can keep pushing that forward. And you're doing some fantastic work with the Derby Rumour Foundation as well. Uh, how, how's that, how's that going with you? Yeah, it's been, i say, really overwhelming. Um, I think that's the hardest part as well, to, to see the support that you get. It really is overwhelming. Um, and we can't thank everybody enough for, for the support that they've shown. But 
as I said, it, it's massive that the MND community um, really do support each other and, you know, individuals and families, everyone understands what they're going through and to have that support and to be there for each other, it, it's massive. And talking now to, to Chris from the MND Association, it's been um, all week, Kev's talked about how much he's been touched by by being part of the MND community and hearing people's stories, um, that must be a great impact for the MND Association. Yeah, it's made a huge difference this week, uh, and and the awareness that's been raised for MND is is really really important. And I, I mean, I'd like to thank Rob and and Stephen and and Doddy for and for for all they they've done to raise awareness and the support that we've had from Sally and the BBC has been fantastic because it, it makes a huge difference. You know, it gives people hope. And I think that's a really important thing with a M and D, such a devastating disease. You, you you need that hope, and that makes a massive difference to, to people. And uh, obviously, I want to say a huge thank you to Kevin. I mean, what a week! I was following it over the weekend. I mean, I, I I've run a few marathons myself, and the thought of getting up the following day and running another one uh, fills me with horror. I have to say, so I don't know how you did it. Um, I know you've got a fantastic team around you, but that was just extraordinary. And and seeing seeing the money raised, it, it was just my. I, I was around for the ice bucket challenge, and it reminded me of the ice bucket challenge when we had the just giving site for that and these small donations of of people giving money and seeing that total just click up. One minute you look away. And it's a certain amount. And then you look back and it's gone up by another 25, 30,000. And you just think, well, how did that happen? You know, and and so the support of the community is really, really important. And I know everybody's really got behind Kevin and the team. And that's that that's been fantastic just to watch. It. It's been so inspiring. Absolutely makes makes a huge difference to people with MND. Huge difference. And I know that the MND Association you, you, you're not an island, you're not on your own there. You do collaborate with, with the other charities as well. My, my name is Dolly. He's obviously Dolly's fantastic charity and you work together on research and, and various projects as well. Yeah, absolutely. And we're working really closely with My Name Doddy Foundation and, and Stephen at uh, the Derby Rimmer Foundation as well and, and MND Scotland and, and really trying to get the message out there. You know, we, we're at a really, really important time for MND research at the moment. And uh, But that research doesn't come cheap. You know, it's expensive and, and, and we need more money for that research. And, you know, we're, we're, we're talking with, you know, hoping to sort of press the government to give more money, but for that, for that research, funding as well but you know this this is so what the, the money that kevin's raised is going to make a massive difference you know we feel with md at the moment we're really pushing at the door there's there is some hope there and 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 there are some some real opportunities ahead and 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 that makes a massive difference and it's it's great to work with these guys because that they're, they're they're great to work with and and they're so inspiring um they inspire me to go into work every day you know it makes a massive difference to me I suppose just when you say it there, a thought that comes to me is that if 2020 has taught us anything, it's that with enough enough effort, time and research put into something, we can find cures. You know, the, the vaccine's about to come out for, for COVID and everything else. If, if we if we give the scientists and the time to, to, to find these things, you know, it's not it's not an you know a, a unbreakable bond that we could actually find a cure for MND. Absolutely not. And, and we can genuinely say that the UK, you know, is world leading in research into MND. It really is. You know, there's some fantastic people um, who, who are making some great strides in the research that they're doing. And um, they they need that support through the awareness raised so that people realise the importance of the work that they're doing. But also, you know, they do need the money. They, they need the money to be able to do that research and really press ahead. You know, we've got we got some fantastic, and uh, Dottie and Stephen and, and everybody knows and, and Rob know, we've got some great researchers doing some brilliant work and we just need to get behind them and really give them the support and help to, to, to push us over the, the edge. And at the end of the day, you know, we, we want a world free of MND. That's what we're pressing for and we're determined to get there. Absolutely. And one man who leads that charge is the uh, unstoppable Doddy Weir. He's uh, told us many times what he, what he intends to do to MND. Doddy, great to see you. Uh, fantastic effort by Kev. And some incredible money raised. Well, thank you. Lovely to see you've been an effort. 
and uh, just doing the filming in the car. And I hope these Christmas presents in the back are coming up to me in Scotland a bit, but I don't know if you're allowed. But look, let's be serious about this for one moment. The whole picture is truly amazing, very positive, and the hope that is generated to the m and community is overwhelming. Right from the start, I know that Steve and Rob came from the team of Serbia, Sally and the BBC, have been unbelievable. What they, they brought us all together. Now that would not have happened if it wasn't for Sally and the BBC. So it'd be now on a year ago when the three of us met, Rob, Stephen, and myself, and it shows you just how MD affects people in different ways. And if anything, we've got the easiest job because we have MD. We've got to live with it and we can do something about it. But it's a bigger picture, Phil, with the carers, the friends, the family, the people behind the scenes who got to live with us, being grumpy, live with us, not being able to, to do things on a daily basis, got to help us do that. They've got to put up with that. And that's very difficult for, for people to get a hold of them, maybe see. So what Kevin, I would say, the BBC have done with the m and as well is overwhelming. Take the m and fight out to the general public and the support has been truly amazing. I think it's been over 50,000 people have got behind the story and, and supported Kev and his team and, and donated and the money Truly amazing as you are help Rob and his family and also go to the M and D and help with the good work that they are doing as well. The whole collective um, story has just been great that this huge team have come together and made a great result, which is lovely. So it gives the likes of Steve and I and Rob a bit of hope now that that things are actually happening, they've been talked about. And I know behind the scenes there's a lot going on and we're going to try and go to government and make a bigger picture, bigger present to show um, what m and can be done, what we need to try and put a stop to. And this, what Kev has done, is truly amazing and will make a big difference, certainly in the future, to that. I remember nearly a year ago, Donny being up in Aberdeen at the Sports Personality uh, when you were you were, you were honoured there, and it was actually the next day when I, I found out about Rob and watching your documentary that you did to to try and have some idea what what we could expect f- for for Rob. Um, and I remember you saying about when you got your diagnosis, just how little information there was out there about you know go, go away and and find out what what you need to know. No, next, the fact that the awareness that, that Kev's marathon, but Rob's story in particular, have have helped continue your work. That must be great that more people are now aware of MND and, and how, how it can be treated. Definitely, Phil. I got, I got diagnosed four years ago, and there's been nothing on the table to help for the last 50 years. It's only at the beginning of this year that there's been trials happening in the UK. And that's largely down to the, the great work the m and are doing, the Stevens Charity, my charity, the BBC, yourself, everyone's doing to make awareness, to generate some money so that the, the professors can do the work. So it's very exciting for the m and community that actual trials are coming to light, as you see. That's never, ever happened in the UK. So the first time people with MND have a bit of hope, and I keep saying this, that until then, the only drug they have is hope. So now we can t- continue that. And with the work that Kevin's done, the, the money to go into research and find the cure is going to be very valuable. And the, the work behind the scenes is amazing. But you do mention the BBC about a year ago, and I feel very fortunate to have received a, a quite a lot of awards. And these awards wouldn't 
have happened without the hard work behind the scenes. And it's great to see that Caves continued that. He's taken all the reward for all the hard work the people is doing. He did, and he had, I think, someone else joining them on a daily basis. A couple of people on the bike as well, a 50,000 others support them. And here's Kev at the front, taking all the awards for it. Truly amazing, but actually he thought of deserves what he's done. Seven marathons, seven days, raised well over a million pounds. It's just unbelievable and deserves a lot of Guinness and a very hot bath tonight. Kev, I know um, you, you'd like to personally thank Dory for the support he's given yourself and Rob uh, since in the last year. I know when, when you got, Rob got his diagnosis, one of the first calls you put in was to, to speak to Dottie. And if, if, if you know, the, the only drug available is hope and positivity, you must be the pharmacist, pharmacist of it, Dottie. You, you dished out in, in bottle loads to, to Rob. I remember him coming back from that meeting and he was like, right, we're on with this. Dottie's told me what to do and we, we're going to attack this. Yeah, absolutely. Doddy was a real inspiration, I think. Um, the codes of rugby came together um, through a mutual friend, Brian Redpath, Little Brush. Uh, he introduced me to Doddy and we set up that first meeting and um, I thought it was comical that five foot four inch Rob Burrow was stood next to six foot seven inch Doddy Weir and uh, it made me laugh, that photograph. That's why I kept trying to put them together, but Rob is, uh, Dodd has been absolutely inspirational for all of us. His positivity, the way he's attacked this, his strength of character, um, how funny he is, has, has been marvellous for all of us. And um, it's been, it's certainly been a journey for Rob this last 11 months. And, and we've tried to be there for him as much as we could. Um, but some of the lessons and some of the learnings that Donny's been able to share with us have been wonderful. And, Absolutely know what what Rob thinks of you, Doddy. He thinks the world of you, and and um, you know, without you, this would have been a very very different eleven months for him. So I can't thank you enough. No, stop it there. Uh, just on that though, I think it's going to do with the the big public, the big family, and with Rob and I and Stephen be put together with family. Sally has been truly amazing. But we found it is very difficult and emotional as patients of MD, what your family, friends are doing. And Kev, what you have done has been truly amazing. Give me a new goal. You allowed me to drink seven pints of Guinness on Tuesday when you started. And I thank you that because I know now my quota a seven points of Guinness, and if I only stopped there, I would be okay. Don't take any wine after the seven points. But on a serious note, you got to enjoy life. We just don't know what's around the corner. But the same thing, MND is a brutal disease. We need funds, we need help, we need awareness to try and see if we can get a cure. And ultimately, what you did today and the support we've had from the BUC and everything has been truly amazing and it's going to make a huge difference, not only to the patient, but we're going to put a bigger fight to that m and and see if we can get a hold to it. So well done, Captain Kev. Thank you. The James Bond of Rugby <laughs> League, eh? Look, you, you can't do anything wrong. You're a total athlete. You look well, you speak well, do you sing well? Can you? <laughs> I don't sing well and I don't drink well. So you've got me on both counts there. But you run very well. So well done to it. And happy anniversary during your marathon. Oh, thank as well. you. Thank you. Yeah, I've heard, I've heard Rob say this week that he do the same for you. But you were number 13. So would you have to run 13 marathons? He would, yeah, he would. Do you, do you know what was funny? One of, one of the funny moments during this week, so we had two other runners with us and we were on Marathon 4 and uh, Chris, who was running, who, who got me into running, really, um, he stopped because his calf, 
he felt some at pop in his calf, so he stopped for a minute. And, and one of the bikers is massaging it a little bit, and he's lying on the wall, and he's in agony. And he turned around and went, "Why the hell couldn't Rob Burrow squad number have been number four? He had enough. He were done." So um, we've laughed about that ever since. Uh, but <laughs> you're right. Do you know what Rob would have done thirteen for me? I have no doubt he would. I have no doubt. So, Captain Kev, what are you going to do next? I don't know. Have you got any ideas? No. <laughs> Stop all of you. <laughs> Kev, what, what, would, what would be the highlight of the um, of the week for you? Uh, seeing Rob Saturday. Seeing Rob Saturday. Today has been brilliant because... Um, of the support and being absolutely energised by the messages and to see where that that fundraising pot has grown to. I think we're just, you know, I think we're over 1.2 million, which is incredible, you know, considering we'd have been happy with 77 grand. Uh, but seeing Rob Saturday, um, running past the mural, getting surprised by him and then getting to share, share a moment with him at the end when I would, very, very tired. That was the end of day five. And um, I reckon it's really spurred us on to get this finished and get them done and get them all in the four hours. But to see his face, to see him smile, um, to see Lindsay, the kids, his mum and dad, uh, they're just really special moments, aren't they? And, and what sort of the last 11 months, or certainly the last six months with lockdown and COVID, um, I've not seen him as much as I would have liked and, and neither has any of sort of that group of players we, we've had. So each moment we get to spend together, however short, is special. And I know he knows this, I know he's listening, but we love him to bits. Um, not only was he an incredible player, but um, he's an incredible friend too. And I know... Thank you, everyone who's come on this call. I know these these blogs that we do each afternoon have made a big difference as well. Talking about to the M and D community, I, I was stopped by a lovely lady today in the run who, who said that she, she had three family members and friends who who, who, who have had M and D, um, and just the fact that we're talking about M and D and talking to people who are who are using the M and D associations, facilities, and and services, uh, it mean, means a lot to to have that conversation. In terms of going forward, Kev, what's what's your what's your immediate plans now? It does, well, if I can just pick up on that last bit, I think it's good to talk. I think again, what's happened here, as well with Sally, bring us all together. It's lovely to pick up the phone to Rob and to Steve and his team and what's going on, because they go through similar issues that we're going and ultimately there's not really a platform for all that and this is where it's quite quite annoying and frustrating I think for people with MND because you do not get the prescription when you get diagnosed with MND they will go here have this drug have that drug it'll help because ultimately the, that is not there there is no drug that will help us and that's why I said the hope will do. And most people with MD have got to go home and self cure now. But with that, what I mean is they're not getting given any help by the professor or doctors. So they've got to go home and look on the internet what might help them. Now, again, we'll try to change that at the moment. And hopefully, with MD in a few hours, we're, we're in the force of doing that as well. And in Scotland, we're very fortunate because one m and patient or one m and nurse, I think, looks after maybe 50 patients. But in England, it's one to 500, which is outrageous. So there's a lot of people in England uh, who don't maybe get to see a nurse as often they can help. So they don't get the advice, help directional place so again we'll maybe have to look to try and change that but it's always good to talk good to see what others are doing and we know how lonely it can be with this COVID so imagine you've got loneliness and MD in these hard times 
So what Kev has done, truly amazing to bring m and to the front of everyone's mind at the moment, to raise an awful lot of money to help change the path and try and find a cure. And also leading up to Christmas, everyone with m and realize now they've got a smile on their face and hope is just around the corner that cure will be found. So again, well done to everyone involved. Hey, hey, Dory. Uh, we'll leave the final word with you, Kev. Um, anything you'd like to, to, to say to, to wrap things up? Uh, just, be, just be thank yous from me. Um, Sally, I know you've been mentioned a fair bit here, but you've been brilliant. You have, you've been outstanding and, and your support and your drive um, to really get behind this for these three in particular, but the whole of the MD community has been, you know, you should be full of pride and, and satisfaction and emotion at what you've been able to do. Um, Doddy, Stephen, um, well done. Um, Stephen, I, don't, I know I don't know you that much, uh, but I do know what Rob thinks of you and you've been incredible for him. So um, thank you for that. Doddy, you know what I think of you. You've been brilliant. You've been a great mate to me. And I've not known you that long, but I think there's a real um, respect between the rugby codes, especially um, across the border uh, and the Super League guys have, have got um, a lot of respect for each other. And I can't thank you enough. And then to the the MND Association, Jenny and Chris. Um, thanks so much, Jenny. You've been brilliant. Um, gladly saved me my special snood, which I've had on every single day, so I can't thank you enough. And then to everybody else, just just thank you. Like I said right at the start of this, it's been the best week of my life. Um, it's been a huge challenge, but um, I think you need to stand, stand for something in your life, and, and I believe today the team I was a part of Absolutely stood for Rob Burrow and his family, but for the whole MND community. And just thank you to everybody getting behind us.